we know, summer means sunshine and yeah, those nasty little ticks. And as we are seeing, it has been a very bad year for tick bites, which we know can lead to Lyme disease. But now a new test may help people get the right diagnosis quicker than ever before. Marty Salt has the details. It felt like someone was stabbing my brain. Beekeeper Adriana Furry isn't afraid of much, except for the bug that almost killed her. I never actually saw a tick bite. After years of misdiagnosis and dozens of doctors, Adriana was told she had chronic Lyme disease, a difficult disease to diagnose. Microbiologist Molly Jewett says Lyme disease tests today are complicated. That's why her lab is working to make it easier and quicker to diagnose. We want clear and quick because the longer you don't have a diagnosis, the more likely you are to have um, ongoing, increasing uh, disease challenges. Jewett and her team are creating a molecular blood test that doesn't just test for antibodies in the blood specific for Lyme disease, but also uses another device that directly detects the bacteria that causes it. The handheld device would be in doctor's offices, so there would be no waiting for lab results and no follow-up tests. Our ultimate target would be within 15 minutes. If Lyme disease is caught early and treated with antibiotics, patients typically recover quickly without long-term effects, something that Adriana wishes would have happened to her, but now feels blessed she finally has the diagnosis she was so desperately looking for. It taught me so many lessons of just gratitude and, and how much we take for granted. Marty Salt, 16 News Now. And a startling statistic out of the nationwide survey conducted by LymeDisease.org, 61% of patients say it took more than two years to receive a correct diagnosis. We'll be right back. Stay with us.